Hey everyone, Joel Lance here. Today we're at McMullins. McMullins, Canadian pub and pizzeria here in Kitchener, Ontario. Yes, that is correct. Representing Ontario. So here to do their McMullins Manzerati Challenge. It's basically a big panzerati. It's like a three, four pound panzerati, generally three toppings, etc. They offered to make the challenge a little bigger if I want, so we're gonna throw in a couple of their new additional flatbreads. I guess this is a new item and I said I'll try them. I'm never not too familiar with flatbreads overall. So big panzerati, flatbread, pretty cool place. Again, this is a Canadian pub and pizzeria. So definitely an interesting dynamic. There is apparently no time limit for the challenge. Normally you get your picture on the wall of fame, you complete it. So we'll see what happens. Let's go have some fun. And uh, I don't know, probably go with standard toppings, green pepper, ham, maybe bacon. And uh, let's have some fun guys. So Kitchener, Ontario, let's eat some food and let's do it. Hi everyone, so here we are with the challenge. Absolutely massive. So we have this big Manzerati, and like I said, they would not just let me eat the Manzerati challenge, which is a normal challenge, so they gave me three of their new flatbread. So it looks really, really good. This one got like prosciutto and bacon jam, and bleh, delicious, delicious. I love meat, you guys know that. We got chicken, this one got some like ham or something on it. Absolutely fantastic. So yeah, there's no time limit really, but if I complete the Panzerati, I'm getting up on that Wall of Fame, the official Manzerati leaderboard. And apparently the record is about 20-ish minutes, they said, so we'll see if we can beat that. And that's just for the Panzerati. It is not with the flatbreads. So that uh, looks really good. Basically one sitting. We're just gonna get started here momentarily. I think the restaurant's ready. Is the restaurant ready? All right. All right, I'm ready. Garlic butter. <laughs> Are we making any bets on this? I'm not Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're at Mick Mullins, which is a Canadian pub and pizzeria in Kitchener, Ontario. So definitely a nice little pub, a really cool spot, um, offering a wide variety of food. Like I said earlier, it's very interesting that it's a pizzeria and a Canadian pub. I found that combination to be very unique. So here we are doing their Manzerati challenge. So Manzerati, get it? It's big, it's manly apparently, um, you know, but it ultimately it is kind of like a Panzerati or a calzone. Um, very similar uh, dishes to each other. Generally one is baked, one is fried, but a calzone and or Panzerati is kind of like a big pizza pocket or a hot pocket essentially a folded over pizza and that's basically what this is so it is like a pizza dough and then you fill it up with your toppings your sauces your cheeses kind of you saw at the beginning give it a fold over bake it as is and voila so a very delicious item this uh, manzerati was cooked very very nicely generally the challenge it is a pay for play um, so you pay for it um, and then you get it eat it and complete it and if you do you get your face up on the wall of fame and there is no time limit i don't know how many how much time we're in but it's going pretty well minute 30. okay there you go minute 40 in it's starting to fall apart a little bit but no complaints Now, when they heard I was coming by, they did make it a little different, being they weren't just going to allow me to have the Manzerati, they wanted me to have some other additional items with it. So to make the challenge harder, they threw in a number of their brand new flatbreads um, to for the, for the challenge as well. That being said, if you want to go to the Manzerati challenge, it's just the Manzerati. And if I was able to eat all this food, they would make the Manzerati free if you beat my record. So you only have to eat the Manzerati in the time that I ate all the other foods. Hey, do you like beer? I mean, it's not bad, yeah, what do we got? I got something really good for you to wash down that uh, Maserati. Okay. So, water blue IPA. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. So I'm supposed to drink it with the Panzerati? Yes, sir. And try it. That's an IPA. Woo! Got a good kick to it. All right. I can do it. Thank you. That's very kind of you. No problem. Oh. That works too. 
so I'm not really sure if they were banking on me finishing it all or not, but regardless, definitely, uh, you know, it's kind of cool that they are going to change the rules of the challenge, allowing, you know, some individuals to potentially get it for free. I also have to give a huge shout out to all the staff here. Uh, very accommodating, very friendly. Also the crowd, the other patrons, and a huge thanks to everybody who came out to watch. We had uh, quite a supportive crowd, um, which I'm very always I'm thankful for when people come out to watch and it's always really cool and then there was some individuals from the waterloo brewing company there um this is really funny and really cool and unique experience where they were uh, giving me some products to try during my challenge which uh, was definitely a unique um so yeah so you'll maybe see them we just saw the gentleman maybe you'll see him here again so it's pretty funny in really going really well Panzerati is very moist help me go down nice and easy I like the bedroom camera just shut off there but uh, four minutes 35 seconds just finished that up I don't know why that happened but hopefully it doesn't happen again but that being said so we finished up that excuse me and on with the flatbreads compliments to the chef that's what it means in lots of cultures all right here I got a flatbread with arugula and bacon jam on it That's a nice flavor. This flatbread was absolutely delicious. Um, I, you know, wasn't sure how these flatbreads were going to be, but absolutely delicious was definitely how they were. Also, I figured why my camera kept shutting off is it was frozen. Yes, it was like cold outside, and uh, so I think after sitting in my car for a while, it was being a little temperamental, I guess you could say. Hey, I got another beer for you. Hey, yeah. A little bit of Waterloo Dyke. First, really well with the flatbread. What is one? Waterloo Dyke. I like it. This, yeah. is, this is sweet and salty, so this is dark? Yep. Like, uh, what kind of dark beer? It's a dark lager. So it's a very smooth, oh, wow. yeah, yeah. Very, yeah. very smooth, easy drinking. I, I really like that. That's very good. There you go. I don't want to get drunk, so I'm going to get that back to you, but beautiful. Right. Water really dark. Appreciate it. I like that one. That's really good. I'm not the biggest alcohol drinker myself, but I do have formal education. I um, haven't taken like sommelier courses. Um, I know very much about scotches and beers, etc. So I will say that I really did enjoy that beer. I just tried that dark one. Um, even though I'm not a big drinker, I can appreciate the alcohol, and that was actually a really nice tasting one. Again, I technically finished the Manzarati challenge when I did the Manzarati, but they gave me these extra flatbreads. So that was absolutely delicious. I really look forward to trying these other ones now. But it's sweet and salty on that one. The bacon. What do you have there, Joel? I have a chicken flatbread. But I mean, it's real generosity when somebody's trying to give you free beer when you're potentially going to be eating their food for free. So again, huge shout out to everybody. It was very, very generous of them. Hey Joel, I got one more beer for you. Uh, it's a craft lager, one of craft lager. It's really easy drinking beer. It, it's just going to complement the flavor. I'm not gonna take anything away from what you're eating right now. Okay? Well, the last one you gave me was very, very good. It went really well with that flatbread. So, this is the craft lager? Yep, craft lager. Easy drinking, really refreshing. Very, very light, very easy yep. drinking. I think that could go down very, very easy. There you go, yeah, definitely. Again, thank you, appreciate it. No worries, man. I like that. Hey, well, that was very kind of you. You just didn't have to do that, so thank you. There you go, guys. I guess you get some nice beers here, some really nice beers with some flatbreads. I can deal with it.
camera keeps shutting off everybody. I don't know what's going on. But. Delicious, really enjoyed that last one. It has a barbecue sauce on some chicken. This one looks really good too. There's some artichokes and all kinds of cool stuff. Other things I learned about Waterloo Brewing that day, besides they had some really nice beers, is they're actually the largest Canadian-owned brewery in Ontario, and they were actually also the first craft brewery, like, in, uh, in Canada or Ontario there. I got one last one for you. Okay. It's a Waterloo Amber. It's got some multi flavor to it. It's gonna enhance the flavor of the sausage. You're really gonna enjoy with that last bread, okay? Well, I'll try it. All right, there you go. Give it a try. Amber? Amber. Waterloo Amber. Oh, that stuff's good. It's good, right? Yeah. yeah. I like the water. Yeah. yeah, you know what? Uh, 6.8%. I was going to say, it got some kick to it. Everybody's wife's Saturdays are always better. I know, right? Congrats. Very, very nice light tasting. Those are well with the uh, barbecue sauce. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very nice light tasting. It goes well with the uh, kind of the feta and the intro the Mediterranean flavors guys went under it. Yeah, whoa. I got a kick to it. 6.8%. Thank you. You're welcome. But to that, everybody, that's all I really have to say. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Um, it was a really cool, unique experience. And ultimately, if you're ever in the area, definitely go check out McMullen's and uh, let's see what happens. Time we have there, guys. I think. Uh, 13.55. All right, 13.55 finished up. So very, very delicious. Huge thanks to everybody here. It's the staff are great, fantastic, very generous. I will say they've been giving me stuff the whole time, uh, but really good food. Actually, the flatbreads really, really impressed me. I guess it is a new menu item, and I see why. They were very delicious. Really, really enjoyed them, especially that one with that arugula, that bacon jam on it. Um, so yeah, I get my picture up on the Wall of Fame now. That's pretty cool. They kind of just revamped it. So although there have been winners in the past, I don't think they have any other names up there right now. So I'll be up there. Um, I didn't even have to use my sauce. That panzerotti was very, very moist. So yeah, good food, good time. Thank you so much to everybody here. And uh, at that, I think that's well. Maybe I'll see if they have dessert. Do we have, do we have dessert? What? We do have a cheesecake. We can split you up with, but interesting. You made pretty short work of the challenge there, Joel. Yes. I just wanted to make a big thank you to Waterloo Brewing. Um, if you do come in and enjoy one of their uh, tall cans right now, you do get to take home this commemorative glass uh, with your purchase. If you do show us that you have the COVID tracing app at the same time, you get to go take home too. So we're just trying to, you know, encourage a little bit of, you know, community safety and help beat this, you know, crazy times that we're in right now. I see how it works. So those beers they've been giving me all along, you get free glasses if you buy them. That's, all right, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I'll make sure I get a glass there. And uh, there you go, you can get two of them. So again, oh, I can get two apparently. Dang it, that's so, that's generosity right there. Everybody, thank you again, really appreciate it. Maybe we'll get some dessert, and if so, we'll tune on in, I'll give it to, uh, enjoy it with me. So uh, just one moment, we'll be right back. Hi everyone, so they actually had catfish on the menu and I'm like, catfish is so uncommon here in Canada, like it's not a thing like it is in the south. So I got some catfish, I'm gonna try it out. So it looks really good, got some good crisp on it. Mm. Oh yeah, and it got some kind of sauce here. Uh, kind of like an aioli. A little like a uh, mustard in there. I see some hot sauce. I'm gonna try the hot sauce. Shout out Louisiana. And it is a Tabasco, so really represent Louisiana. No. Yeah, really cool to have cat 
true. Yeah, very uncommon in Canada. I approve. Very good. All right, and here's that cheesecake I talked about. So I've got to try it. I was actually about to say I got to go after the catfish, but I've got to try the cheesecake. Okay. I like it. Very good. It's got this little drizzle on it. Is that vanilla? Yeah, the drizzle on here is fantastic. Thanks everybody, hope you enjoy. Of course, still next time, say happy the hungry, happy you. Huge thanks for Bones here. Great spot. Great food. You definitely come try the catfish, this flatbread's really good. If you want to try the Manzerati, you know where to come. And cheesecake. I approve. So next time everybody, you know what to do. Oh, by the way, if you like the video, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Much appreciated. And a huge thanks to our friend Steven for coming out. Steven's been around since like 20K, so it's been a while. It's been a long time coming. So, hey, my friend, thank you so much. Much appreciated. And, uh, Representing Canada right here, buddy. Yeah. I do what I can. Hey, man, thanks so much for coming. Nice to cross paths. Right, yeah. Perfect. Thanks again. And a huge thank you to the Lentz family. Thank you so much for coming out. Again, some local support. They're coming all the way from Guelph, so much appreciated. Thank you so much, everybody. How'd you enjoy the show? Awesome. It's like I, the best description I've ever heard is it's kind of like a Amazing and kind of disgusting at the same time. So I always just use that example. But hey, thank you again for coming out. Hopefully, we'll see them again. And until uh, next time, everybody, have a lovely day. Thank you.